Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your girl Carla Marcel, founder of Deeply Rooted Herbals, transformation coach. Um, so I just wanted to drop in, y'all, because like I'm really burdened in my spirit. Like I am truly burdened in my spirit because last week, so you guys know that I I am employed by one of the largest, if not the largest, employer out here in the southeastern region. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call any names. I will say it is healthcare. It and you know, I mean, I just want to say that we need some serious discernment out here in these worldly streets and you guys need to be praying in this season for discernment. And if you don't know what discernment is, discernment is the ability to know if you should or you shouldn't, what is real versus what is not. Discernment is your spirit telling you yay or nay to a thing to any particular thing, to any particular instance, whether it be a relationship, whether it be um, a, a career choice, whether it be, you know, some uh, medical, uh, I don't know, anything, anything, whatever your situation is, your spirit needs to be able, or you rather, you need to be able to determine if you should be for it or you should be against it. And that comes from the most high. And if you are lacking, and what we call that discernment, if you are lacking discernment, I need you guys to be praying that the most high give you discernment in this season because it is going to be the driving force of how you survive in this season. What is going on out here in these streets? It is crazy, y'all. When I say it is crazy, there is a thing happening, right? The word of God says that we we don't fight flesh and blood, but we fight principalities. We are up against spiritual wickedness in high places out here in these worldly streets. And if you are not careful, you will be swallowed up and devoured by the enemy. You literally will be swallowed up and devoured by the enemy, y'all. And I am trying to tell you And this is why I push the way I push, the way I advocate for my people to gain knowledge. Because sometimes we are so blindly led. We are so blindly led. And that is going to have to change. It is literally going to have to change. Now, well, I'm I'm talking. I'm about to talk about the situation that happened. The the, the big situation that took place over uh what is it three four year period. Like to me, like I am so like uh I am baffled right now, y'all. Like y'all have no idea. Y'all probably like what you talking about. I'm talking about the um. When I say the um, y'all know the see um the thing the thing thing. Like it's crazy. Because when it initially started and they were making it mandatory, they were telling you guys that you was not going to be able to keep your job. You was going to lose your livelihood. They were outcasting people who did not want to do the, the um. They were literally, you know, just, um, they, they were shutting people out. You understand me? It was so many people that lost their livelihoods, lost their jobs lost their careers. They lost it all. It's easy too if you turn off your hair. Okay, you put in the garbage. They literally lost it all simply because they were refusing to do what the man said that they should do, right? Without the research to back it, without the the proper knowledge of what this thing was that they were injecting into people without the proper knowledge of the ramifications of what it was going to do or what it was going to be. They were literally shutting people down. And literally, y'all was going with it. Y'all was going with it. And like, like that, that baffles me. Like that baffles me. Like, like how in the world, like, like what? Like they literally said, Okay, y'all, there's some out here. 
and I'm gonna say they put it out there. There's some out here. This is this is the cure for it. This is what you need for it. If you don't get this, you're gonna die. If you don't get no spiritual discernment, you're going to die. Let me just say that. If you don't get the spiritual discernment that you need for this season that we are in, you are going to die. It, it, your vaccine ain't going to save you. I don't even know. Am I allowed to say vaccine on here? Like, I don't even know. Like, I, like I whatever. They cancel me, whatever. I don't care. I don't care if they cancel me. I don't care. But it's crazy to me because one of the largest employers sent out this communication blast. We'll call it a communication blast. And it's so sad. It's so sad. And I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to read some of it. Most high cover me. That's all I'm going to say. Most high cover me. Like, I'm out here doing the work of the most high God. So, cover me. Whatever it is, it is. But at the end of the day, I know I'm about to be covered. So, whatever. But. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to start right here. <sighs> Child, like, oh, it, it pains my spirit. Like, I feel it in my soul, Lord. <sighs> like, they, they, they so, like. Spiritual wickedness in high places, y'all. And I'm not even talking about your, I'm not talking about your president. I'm not talking about your vice president, your, your elected officials. It goes beyond that. There is a spiritual wickedness happening in this earth. And we have to position ourselves to combat it, to win against it. Spiritual wickedness in high places, it literally is the driving force of what is happening. And we have not seen anything yet. So, um, I'm going to start here. Thank you for your flexibility and commitment to creating a safe environment. No, I don't even want to start right here. Let me start right here. Okay, effective immediately. The C vaccine will no longer be required for employment or medical privileges. The blank blank helps decrease severity of the infection in the recipient and was an important aspect of our infection prevention measures earlier in the pandemic. Can I even say that? I don't even know if I can even say that word. But however, current evidence does not indicate that it prevents any healthcare worker from spreading the virus to others. So what they are saying, healthcare worker or non-healthcare worker, it don't work. It don't work. Therefore, we no longer feel it necessary to require the thing to work within our facilities. We strongly encourage all blank, blankety blanks to follow CDC guidelines for COVID. I shouldn't say that word. Blankety blanks guidelines for blank vaccinations receiving the initial primary series and subsequent boosters according to CDC recommendations. We are lifting the masking requirements for our team members providing direct care to patients. That is the gist of this email. I'm not even going to like burden y'all with the, this whole thing, this whole communication, but it's crazy. It's really crazy. It is really crazy. And <clears throat> the crazy part about it is they were doing research that literally said, that literally found metal. Metal is such a toxic thing for the blood that found the metal in these, in the... I don't even I don't even want to say the word, but in, in the thing that was getting up injected in y'all, they were finding metal, toxic metal floating throughout people's blood. People were getting blood clots all over the place. 
It was messing with people's minds. It was messing with people's brains. People were having seizures, crazy, violent seizures. You understand me? So many people lost their lives. What? In the name of science? And I'm not saying for a second that it didn't exist. My mother called it, and my mother said she, my mother refused to go to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? But she refused, so many people lost their lives in the hospital. Why? One, because they were pumping these people with so much ventilation, right? They had these people on the vents and they were overly doing it, pumping them with so much to the, to the point where bodies were shutting down. My mom said, no. When I, when I tell you, like, it was scary. It's, it's a scary thing. Like, we are literally fighting against principalities in high places in this world. And, and, and it's crazy. And we're going to have to do better. We're going to have to do better. Y'all, I'm telling you, I got the blood cleanser tea, y'all. I got the blood cleanser tea. My blood cleanser tea, it removes toxins and parasites out of the blood, regulates blood pressure. You were having adverse side effects because you were taking the thing. Like literally, the blood cleanser tea, filter and cleanse your blood. All y'all out here want to detox, detox, detox your colon and you're forgetting about your blood. It starts with your blood. Your blood is so necessary to be detoxified. Please go to the site deeplyrootedherbals.com go get the blood cleanser i don't care about you money i'm i'm trying to save your life i'm trying to save your life they got this new thing coming out y'all i'm telling you pray for spiritual discernment y'all see this technology you think the technology is like the new greatest biggest thing and not understanding that there are ramifications that come behind it there's ramifications that are, that are going to lead to your demise if you are not careful, if you are not exercising discernment, if you are not praying that you be led by the spirit of a most high God. Let me tell you. So you know that there is lab grown meat that is coming. <clears throat> One of the best things that you can do for yourself in this season is going to be train your body not to eat. If you can get to the point where you are literally eating once a day, your body will be doing amazing. Your body will be doing amazing. Get your body to a state where it is literally functioning and running the way it's supposed to. Start to eliminate the toxins that are going into your body. Start to eliminate the sugar. Start to eliminate the meat. And I'm talking to myself as well because I'm right here going through the journey right along with you guys. So I got this article and this article, y'all, this is, this is, this is a credible CNN.com. This is where this uh, article that comes from. <clears throat> Lab grown meat is coming. That's the name of it. Y'all can go, go to CNN.com, find an article for yourself. Pray for spiritual discernment, y'all. <clears throat> I'm going to read it. <clears throat> Soon, Americans are going to be able to try chicken that comes directly from chicken cells rather than, well, a chicken. What? Chicken cells. So we're moving away from genetically modified, right? I don't know if you guys have seen, but um, a lot of our packages are saying non-GMO, but then they have this um, biochemically engineered. And so it's, it's not GMO any longer, but it's biochemically engineered. I was at a health fair the other day. Lord, 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 give your people spiritual discernment, God. Give your people spiritual discernment. Lord, I pray that whoever is underneath the sound of my voice, please don't be brainwashed. I need you to do your research, do your due diligence, get some spiritual discernment. I was at the health fair the other day and I was talking to, there was a, a vendor and um, they were uh, um, uh, like a, it was a farmer's market. They were vending for the farmer's market. Like they actually had like the fruits and the vegetables and stuff like that. They were out there selling that. 
So I was talking to the lady and I was telling her, you know, I like now you can barely find seeds in anything. Like you, it's so difficult to find simple, simple seeds. Like I want real natural organic fruit, but even in the organic, quote unquote organic fruit you don't even find seeds in them and i was asking her well are there seeds in these fruit i think i was buying some tangerines or something i was like are there are these do they have seeds and she was like well um she told me yes they did not of course but um she said to me well you know the seeds don't mean anything that you know um we're we're not allowed to sell gmo things anymore so they've actually taken gm gmo out of our stores now but you know um the way that they're making these fruit are infusing them with some process she was trying to explain to me when she told me that gmo was out like my mom was like uh okay you sis i need you to get some discernment because it's not out girl it's not out is a rose by any other name still not a rose please somebody tell me somebody tell me is a rose by any other name still not a rose let me know it's not natural if it does not have a seed in it how does fruit become without seeds it's so simple it's so simple it's not natural and anything that is unnatural it is gmo is a rose by any other name not still a rose call it what you want sis call it what you want but it, it literally does not matter what name you want to identify this as. This is a chemically infused, lab-grown, whatever entity that they have now filled our stores with. I remember when I was in undergrad and I was, uh, what, I was taking G, um, what was the name of that class? Uh, Globalization 101. That, that was a whole class, Globalization 101. And at that point, um, that was like, what, 08, I want to say, Globalization 101. No, probably like 07, 07, right? When globalization was a new thing. And a lot of people didn't know what globalization was, right? We're, we're moving towards this one ruling system in society right and so that was the very beginning of the initiation where they start pushing it in the school systems they start pushing it out in the media mind you but this has been something that's been going on way back when this has always been you know uh, a goal for or uh you know what the end result was supposed to be right we haven't seen the end result yet it's still in the process but this has always been a goal for that so um globalization 101 they played a video and in this video it was it was somewhere in the it was in jamaica um and they were saying that the farmers could no longer produce their crop they were there shutting down all of these farms and the farmers, they were in uproar. They were in riot. They would not let them allow them to sell their fruits, their vegetables in the stores anymore. They were saying that their, their real organic natural fruit was not up to par. It did not meet their standards. And these farmers, they were livid. They were saying that the, the government was coming in, burning down their farm. They would wake up, their whole crop would be destroyed. Like it was horrific. And now forward, what, almost 20 years later, like we can understand why. We can understand why. We can see what, 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 what was the plan from way back then, y'all. And it's like, we're so blind to it. We're so blind to it. And it's time, it's high time that we wake up. We have to wake up. We literally have to wake up. We as a people, we must wake up to see what's really going on out here. And so this lab grown meat that is coming, right? Made from quote unquote chicken cells made in a laboratory, y'all. I looked up the website of um, two of the... I guess two of the companies that are, you know, putting this lab grown uh, meatless meat, chicken, they're calling it, and they're not even saying that it's meatless anymore. It's, it's, it's chicken. It's chicken. We just don't got to slot our animals. We don't got to kill them anymore. And we can still have chicken, right? So 
Let's see. I really just want to read this whole thing to you. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to read it to y'all. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying. Let me start from here. What is it? In a nutshell, lab-grown meat or cultivated or cell-based meat is meat that is developed from animal cells and grown with the help of nutrients like amino acids in massive bioreactors. This happens in a production facility that looks a lot like a brewery. When you picture it, don't think of people in white coats or hairnets peering through microscopes into peach tree dishes, but instead people in white coats and hairnets wandering between giant vats. I don't even know what that is. When the meat is ready, companies collect it from the bioreactors and move it along the processing line. Good meat protein looks a lot like minced chicken when extracted, said Andrew Noyes head of the global communications and public affair of good meat parent company just eat so i looked up this company good meat a lot of your um companies who are in um the education sector um let me see who are in the education sector who are in your medical research facilities they're the ones who are backing this right food sponsors Good Food Institute, right? Good Food Institute, the Association for Meat and Poultry and Seafood Innovation, the American Meat and Science Association. Y'all, this is who are writing your textbooks. This is who are training your medical, um, your, your, your medical professions, your providers. The best thing that you can do right now in the season is become an active, become an active player in your health care. Become an active participant in your health care. What that means is you need to stop blindly following after these people. Do your research. Put the right things into your body. Feed yourself what you need to feed yourself. You know, stop overindulging. Stop overindulging. Train your body. Get into the sun. What is this thing that y'all have against the sun? Do you not know that the sun replenishes your cells? Do you not know when you sweat, you are expelling toxins through your pores? And when you do it with the sun, not only are you expelling uh, toxins through your pores, but you are revitalizing your cells. Get into the sunlight. Y'all be like, oh my God, it's, it's, it's heat. All this, it's, it's, it's too hot outside. It's too hot outside. What? Do you not know that the air conditioning causes arthritis? Do you know not, do you not know being in, in um, temperature where you, well, that is too cold, your body then has to overcompensate. It starts to build um, your 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 tissue starts to swell up, right to keep you warm. So being in this cold temperature twenty four seven, and you wondering why why do your joints hurt? Why why do your hands cramp up? Why do you feel like you can't move? You've been sitting in the AC all day. Go get you some sun. Get you some sunlight. Revitalize your revitalize your cells. The sun is the best thing that you can do for your body. On my lunch break, every day I'm out in the sun. They be like, Carla, you're crazy. It's hot outside. What? I'm crazy for sitting in this place in this AC all day. What are you talking about? That's crazy. It's like my, my mindset is so different from everybody else. Everybody's like, oh, she's so weird. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm so weird because I have spiritual discernment and the whole world wanders after the beast and I ain't doing it. I'm not for it. I miss me with it. Like for real, just miss me with it. I'm not, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Like I will be fasting. I fasted for 30 days on and at work. I did not eat. I did not eat. I fasted uh, from six in the morning to six at night and for 30 days. And so these people, like, they saw me not eating at lunch. But instead, at lunch, like, I would go outside, rain, rain or shine. I was outside walking. And one day, one of my coworkers came to me and she said, Carly, you don't eat. I was like, what? Like, why? Why are you, why are you asking me if I don't eat? Like, 
He's like, do you do you eat? Like to me, it's like y'all. A yes, I eat. If I didn't eat, then I mean I wouldn't be alive, right? I have to eat. But because I'm not following after the system, because I'm going to control my body and I'm not going to allow my body to control me. You they don't understand that you honestly your body is not even like it's not necessary for you to eat every day first of all our body is designed in a way to have food and then to not have food right we our body is supposed to um be able to move through a process of elimination right and all the food and the nourishments that we have are supposed to be able to last us for days right because initially when when humans were first made right there wasn't a total um consumption of things to eat all the time like we literally had to go out and gather our food like i don't think my my people wasn't out here shooting up animals and you know what i'm saying like you know killing deer and stuff like that to eat no we was out here and you know some some were hunters my folks i believe were um gatherers there were hunters and there were gatherers my people was gatherers right we was out here gathering our berries and ga gathering our our vegetables or whatever and we were gathering them in season right and we know that we had to ration because it was a seasonal thing right so sometimes we would eat sometimes we would not and so literally that's what we were doing. We wasn't out here eating every day. And when our when we did eat, the nutrients that we ate carried us through, carried us through several days, if not months, right? And so, but now because we have all of this consumption coming into our bodies, our bodies doesn't have a chance to regulate itself. Our bodies don't get a chance to detox. Our bodies don't get a chance to, to you know, just move through the initial cycle that it's supposed to move through. Now we're finding ourselves with all this cancer. We're finding ourselves with all this sickness. We're finding our, ourselves with all the symptoms of what is wrong with our bodies and we're calling those diseases and we're trying to treat those symptoms, not trying to get to the root cause to put our bodies back into homeostasis so that we can initially heal the proper way. It's a whole thing going on out here. We literally, please y'all, please, 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 Find some spiritual discernment. Pray for it. Most high God said, knock. Seek. Seek and you will find. Knock, he will answer. I'm, I'm sorry. Everything I do, I'm going to put it back. I'm going to bring it back to the most high God because anything outside of that, miss me with it. Don't want it. Mm, I pass. I pass. I pass. <clears throat> For one thing, growing meat from cells mean that people can eat meat without having to slaughter animals. Upside Foods explains that cells it gathers from a fertilized chicken egg are stored in its cell bank and can be used for at least 10 years. Animal cells can come from an animal biopsies or even feathers. Oh, okay, excuse me. Animal cells can come from animal biopsies or even feathers along, among other sources, Noy said. These are environmental considerations as well. Agriculture, particularly animal agriculture, is responsible for a significant amount of greenhouse gas emissions, which contri contributes to climate change. Overhauling that system could cause the, could ease the burden on the planet. To make cultivated meat, energy uses energy energy use needs are high, said Bruce, president and founder of the Good Food Institute, a nonprofit group that promotes alter, alternative proteins. Still, those energies need to be offset by a reduction in land and water use. Other benefits, he said, adding that renewable energy is how we reap the maximum climate benefit. So climate change, y'all. They do not listen in the name of climate change. Child, miss me with it. <clears throat> Is it vegetarian? No. Unlike plant-based meats, like the products made in Impossible Foods and Beyond Meat, cultivated meat uses animal cells and is not considered vegetarian. Because cultivated meat comes from cells rather than animals with intestines, 
they're not exposed to the type of contaminants that can plague traditionally harvest meat. That means that cultivated meat could be free of E. coli and salmonella, he said. But only God knows what else is going to be in it. Only God knows what else is going to be in it. That's, that's my full part to it. Meat eaters who are concerned about these types of risks might prefer cultivated meat. But diners who are trying to reduce meat consumption altogether won't find a solution here. So does it taste like regular meat? Basically, yes. That's according to the former CNN reporter, Julia Hordowitz, who tried a cell-based meatball made by Ivy Farm Technologies, a British company. In her words, the meatball was a bit dense and on the smaller side, not exactly the classic version you imagine melting in your mouth at an Italian restaurant, she noted. It tastes like traditional meat and the flavors was full and savory. A reporter who tried Upside Foods cultivated chicken said, this actually does taste like chicken. Others who have tried good meat cultivated chicken, which was approved for sale in Singapore in 2020, had a similar action. This was approved for sale in 2020. Y'all, oh my, ugh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I was literally talking to somebody the other day. Lord, I just pray for I pray. I pray that you open the eyes, Lord God, of your people. I pray you open the ears of your people, Lord. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I was literally talking to somebody the other day, and I was like, I, I had ate something, and I was like, that is not me. Whatever I ate was not me. And she was like, I was like, it's probably that cell grown meat. And she was like, Carla's not even out yet. It, it hadn't even came out yet. Like, dude, are you stupid? Bro, it been out. It been out. They are just now putting it in the public's eye. But trust and believe this thing has been out. Okay? It's been out. Like, what? So, what has happened? What has been approved in the U.S.? This is, this is the next part of the article. What has been approved in the U.S.? On Wednesday, the USDA Food Safety and Inspection Services approved Upside Foods and Good Meat applications for a grant of inspection. Those type of applications are approved following a rigorous process, which includes assessing a firm food safety system, according to an FSIS spokesperson. The cultivated meat industry is regulated by both the USDA and the FDA. Over the past several months, the agencies have been approving these processes step by step. The products have been approved since in November. In November, the FDA issued a no questions letter to Upside Foods essentially saying that it had no further questions about the safety of the product, and so it considers it safe for consumption. Who the hell is the FDA? Who is the FDA? Y'all don't be wanting to deal with the herbs because it's not approved by the FDA. Look what, look what the FDA approving, though. Do this, how does this make sense to you? I'm sorry. How does this make sense to you? Y'all be like, oh, I don't know. It's not approved by the FDA. It's approved by Most High God, though. Most high guys said the herbs are made for the healing of the nations. Y'all be coming at me talking about, oh, um, is sarsaparilla, does it have FDA approval? Is it approved by the USDA? What? That's me. Golly. Uh, other part of this article, when will I be able to try it? Soon? Well, soonish. And only if you're in certain areas, neither Upside Foods nor Good Meat have given a date for when which their products will be available, but they each have a plan in place to get products out to the public. Trust, trust and believe y'all, it's already out here. It's already out here in these streets. The blood cleanser. Cleanse your blood, y'all. Get the blood cleanser. Hit up my website, www.deeplyrootedherbals.com. That's herbals with an S, deeplyrootedherbals.com. Get the blood cleanser. Cleanse your blood from, pure, from um, 
<clears throat> parasites, fungus, cleanse your blood, you know, cleanse your liver. You cannot cleanse your blood without cleansing your liver. You cannot cleanse your blood without cleansing your with without cleansing your kidneys. Very, very important process as well to cleanse your blood. Blood cleanser tea um, does all of that. All of that. Do a 10-day detox for your blood. Get these toxins up out of your blood, y'all. Cleanse your colon. Cleanse your colon. Get the parasites out of your colon. And then once you do your cleanse, once you do your detox, be extremely mindful about what it is you put back in. I know sometimes I'm out here in these streets um, in the communities and I'm talking to people and they like, yeah, well, I just want to live my, I'm out here living my best life, baby. The, like literally the enemy has gotten us so brainwashed. It, it's, it makes no sense, right? My herbs are $24 a bag. $24 a bag. You can get the sea moss. They're $24 a bag. You'll say, oh, that's expensive. What? I've made my herbs extremely, extremely affordable for you guys because I want you to be able to have access to natural healing properties. And you can't tell me that these herbs don't work. These herbs that I have put together, that I blend together are recipes from my ancestors that my family has been using for generations upon generations. Herbs that are literally grown when I go back home, back home to Jamaica, when I go back home and step outside my step outside my door in my yard, I can literally go and pick, literally go and pick my lemongrass and go boil my tea. I can literally go and get my hibiscus and go boil my tea. I can literally go get my anato seed and go boil my tea. What are you talking about, FDA regulated? What are you talking about, USDA regulated? Come on, my people, have some sense, please. Have sense. Also, y'all, I have the, the digestive health tea. The um, digestive health tea is another thing that you want to make sure that you have on deck, y'all. After all of these crazy things they have out here, after all these chemically induced foods, you definitely want to make sure that you are able to have access to clean out your digestive line. Clean out your digestive line. Constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, leaky gut syndrome. These are all symptoms of an unhealthy gut. Get your gut into homeostasis with your body. Have healthy bowels. Have healthy bowels. When you go to the bathroom, it shouldn't smell like a whole toxic laboratory just went up in flames. Like it shouldn't smell like that when you use the bathroom. You should not be constipated when you use the bathroom, right? We're going to have to make sure that we do the things necessary for our bodies to get us to the place that we need to be, right? I, I have herbs like Circe in, in my digestive health tea. Circe cleanses the body, including your blood as well. It cleanses the body of parasites and fungus. Cersei, an amazing herb to have on hand, y'all. Um, also, uh, dandelion, dandelion leaf. A lot of y'all got dandelion grown outside in your yard right now. Dandelion leaf. Go out, pick the dandelion, dry the leaf, and boil some tea. Boil some tea. Dandelion regulates your blood sugar. It reduces inflammation. It helps your liver. It flushes your liver of chemicals. Dandelion. Yeah, that weed that's outside in your yard right now. Yeah, that one. Oh, FDA didn't put a label on it. FDA didn't put a label on it. Y'all, we're going to have to do better, people. We're going to have to do better. 
We we going to have to do better. The number one thing I said you can do is train your body to eat less. Eat less, eat less. Train your bodies to eat less, people. Train your bodies to eat less. Just because they say you go to lunch at 12 o'clock don't mean you got to eat at 12 o'clock. Don't mean you got to eat at 12 o'clock. Your body taps into a whole different type of metabolism once it's over 12 hours of no food that starts to put your body back into homeostasis. You can skip breakfast. It will be okay. It will be okay. I literally see people who go go to lunch at 12 o'clock every day and they go right down across the street to the McDonald's, to the Wendy's, to whatever else. Go get all the fried food, the, the extra large thing of the soda. Like, what? And then they look at me crazy because I'm outside walking in 95 degree weather. I'm good. I'm good. And I know if something is not good, I know if something is off because of my habits, right? My body will be in the state that it needs to be in so that it can regulate itself. Now, I am not an extremist. <clears throat> I am not an extremist. I know when I need to go to the doctor. I know when I need to go get some um, westernized medical attention. And oh, you will definitely know that I am there. But I also know when I don't need the recommendations of my healthcare provider. I know how to be an active participant in my health. I know when to take antibiotics versus when not to take antibiotics. I don't take antibiotics as a just-in-case kind of scenario. No. My body can fight off infections, and in the event that it cannot, then I will tap into a secondary source and take antibiotics. But I'm not going to take antibiotics. Like, I had, I had one of my tooth pulled. The dentist said, here, Get me a bottle of uh, um, antibiotics. Go take these antibiotics. Just in case you get an infection. We just want you to take it just in case. I didn't take the antibiotics. I didn't get an infection. Whatever was going on in my mouth, my body produced the necessary things that I might, that that wound needed in order to heal, in order to regulate itself. My body did that. My body did what it was designed to do, and that's heal, regulate, and strengthen itself. My body did that. My body did what it's designed to do. I want to continuously be in a place where I can make sure that I feed my body the things that it needs so that it can, so that it can do what it's supposed to do. I'm going to give y'all some tips on how that how you can do that. One of the one of the biggest one of the biggest things I said, train your body to eat less. Um a lot of you guys are addicted to food. You're addicted to food. So, you're not going to have the same type of experience that I have when I fast. You know, for you if you are going through like basically withdrawal symptoms, just like a crack fiend would, or, you know, um, going through the kind of symptoms that make you feel like life is about to like all the way end for you. Those would be the experiences you have because you have an addiction, right? And once you start to break the cycle of the addiction, you break out into sweats, you get dizzy, you, 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 you're, like, you're like a crack fiend. You, you start to have those symptoms of addiction. So you want to take it slowly. You know, I would say, um, don't do sugar. Just simply eliminate sugar out of your diet. You know what I'm saying? Start start there. Start eliminating sugar. And then start going into um, maybe skipping meals. After you skip meals, then go into fasting. You know, 
fasting for let's say 12 hours so you skip breakfast and then you eat lunch you know and then maybe the next week you skip breakfast and now you skip lunch as well and now you begin to build that fasting momentum right it will allow your body to get back to where it needs to be it will allow your body to get back into homeostasis so many good things people are 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 getting the benefits because they are simply fasting fasting is one of the best things that you can actually do for your body and so we got fasting getting off sugar um another thing eat whole foods eat whole foods start to eliminate the processed foods um the frozen foods frozen foods cut up cut it i know it's easier we're addicted also to convenience we want convenience not realizing and not understanding that convenience comes with a cost and as we can see the cost of convenience is is costing us our life the cost of convenience is so heavy it's such a big price to pay because it's literally costing us our vitality we're sicker than ever but things are so convenient for us we're sicker than ever i sell pure raw sea moss in the in the purest forms i was out one day in the community again i, I was at an event one of one of my um customers said well, why don't I just make the gel? Yeah, I can make the gel, but you you do know I do got a video that shows you how to make the gel. Make the gel yourself because guess what? Once I make the gel, then I need to have some preservatives in it so it don't go bad in a week. Or when you're ready, you make the sea moss and then you use it up in that week. And then... You make you another batch. Otherwise, it's going to sit in your fridge and go bad. Unless I have a ton of preservatives in it. And I don't want that. Like, I, I literally have the best interest of people. And I need people to have the best interest of themselves. Another thing you can do is eat whole foods, eat whole foods. Learn to shop the perimeters of your supermarkets. Go to the produce aisle, go to the produce aisle. Eat, eat your fruit, eat your vegetables. Go to the pr produce aisles. Make that the majority of your meal consumption. Cold cuts, hot dogs. Um, like what chicken tenders and you know stuff you get out in the fast food restaurants. Try to cut back on those things. Let's bring our bodies back into homeostasis. Let's start to rid our bodies of the toxins that's already in there, and then feed our bodies the right things so our bodies can do what it needs to do. When you shop the perimeter of your grocery store, when you start to get the um the fruits and the vegetables, and you learn how you can make meals out of those things, you're going to see an extreme turnaround in the way you feel, in the way, in the way you are, your, your health, your, your vitality. It becomes a different type of situation. It becomes a different type of situation. You ever went to the healthcare provider? You know something is wrong in your body. You went to the healthcare provider and all your labs are normal. Everything is perfect. In your body, you know something is wrong. I've been there. I've been there. Like, I, I know that some something is off in my body. I'm having some type of symptom because something is out of homeostasis in my body. But yet still, when I go and get all my blood work, all my blood work is perfect. When when I go to the doctor's office and I check my um my labs, everything is good. When they do my vitals, everything is fine. Everything is where it needs to be. But yet still, I know something is off. I know something is going on. And because I know something is going on, I know that I need to figure out what I need to eliminate. I know what kind of um, interventions I need. 
And I told you, get in the sun. The sun is a great intervention for health. That, that those symptoms of like feeling like you're about to pass out when you're in the sun, it's because you're so toxic. You're literally so toxic. It, it, your body is purging itself. Purge is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Your body is literally taking the toxins and, and pushing it through your cells. That's what's happening when you are in the sun. And that's why y'all just like, oh, I can't be out in the sun, child. Oh, it's too hot. Feel like I was about to pass out in the sun. But that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Let's, let's step back and let's do the things that we need to do so that we can thrive the way we're supposed to thrive. We have to be able to thrive the way that we are supposed to thrive. Y'all, um, we're coming out the summer season. So you want to make sure also that you are um, building up your immune system. Build your immune system. Now it's time to start building up your immune systems, y'all. We're coming. We're we're about to be in September. You know, we get we getting ready for cold and flu season. So now's the time that you want to make sure your immune systems are up to par. I have the immune booster, y'all. The immune booster, eucalyptus leaf, y'all. It's, it's a bronchial type of herb, clears the bronchial so that you can breathe better, right? We have a lot of respiratory issues going on. We have a lot of respiratory things that, 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 that clogs up the breathing, right? We need to make sure that we, we clear that out, make sure that our bronchials are working effectively and efficiently, um, moringa leaf, moringa, high vitamin content, high vitamin content. You want to start from now putting those vitamins into your body, right? So that when cold and flu season comes, you are protected. You are protected. When, when things like COVID pop up, right? When things like flu, cold pop up. Your body is able to fight off those things. You want to make sure that you're starting that regimen now. Uh, also, y'all, rosemary. Rosemary is extremely, extremely good for your immune system, y'all. Rosemary helps to fight free radicals. It helps to fight free radicals in the body. Um... And also high antioxidant content, y'all. Do the things necessary so that when the things start to show up that try to come against you, your body is in a state where it can handle those things. Those things can actually move past. Those things can actually move past trying to harm you. And your body can expel those viruses. Your body can expel the toxins so you don't fall victim, right? We literally have to do the things, you guys. We have to do the things. We have to do the things. Most High God said we are up against spiritual wickedness in high places. I want to just find, I, like, I just want to find that. Let me see, y'all. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see, y'all. Give me two seconds. Two seconds. I know it's in Corinthians. I'm not exactly sure where spiritual uh, wickedness in high places. Let's see. Let me tell y'all where it's at. That's Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Cultivated me, spiritual wickedness in high places. Vaccinations, spiritual wickedness 
in high places. And I'm not going to say all vaccinations. I might as well say all vaccinations. But especially the ones that ain't been tested and they want to push on the whole entire world and cause people their livelihood, cause people their, their, their source of survival. And now it has backfired. Now they have nobody to work in their facility. So now they want to say, oh, you don't need it anymore. Come on, y'all. I need some spiritual discernment out here in these worldly streets. I need some spiritual discernment out here in these worldly streets, y'all. We're so focused on the wrong things, y'all. We're so focused on, on the vanity of the world. And let me tell you something. The vanity of the world means absolutely nothing. The vanity of the world means absolutely nothing. You want to impress people for the wrong reason. You want status, you want clout, you want things that make you feel something that you're looking for. And I'm going to tell you, you're not going to feel it. In fact, you're going to spend all your days chasing the facades, all smoke and mirrors, all smoke and mirrors, y'all. Go read Ecclesiastes, read Ecclesiastes, Let, see what Solomon the richest man who ever walked the face of the earth. I want to say it's Solomon. I hope it's Solomon. <laughs> but, you know, go see what he says. He had it all. He had everything. And at the end of the day, it was all smoke and mirrors. It was all a chasing of the wind. We don't have to chase the wind, y'all. We don't need to chase the wind. What we need is the most high God to lead us and direct us into path and where we should go so that we can have all truth, all righteousness, and all understanding. And that will fill every single void that we have. It will fill every single need that we have. All we need to do is get in the presence of a most high God. And once we are in the presence of a most high God, every single thing shall be supplied right there in that moment. Trust me when I say, because I speak from experience. Trust me when I say, because I speak from experience. Every single thing that you look for, every single thing that you need is in the presence of a most high God. And I want to be the first one to tell you that it is available to whoever wants it. The vanity of the world is all smoke. It is all mirrors. It is all a chasing of the wind. Let's pray for some spiritual discernment so we know what we need to focus on, what we need to let go of. The things we need to chase. There's an assignment on each and every one. It's a life who's under the sound of my voice. Let's not miss it. Let's not be distracted. Let's not want to get involved for the wrong reasons and the wrong thing. I saw I saw a video somebody posted, came across my timeline. There was this this, this thing. You can make millions of dollars making sound effects. They were doing horses and all kind of stuff. Just doing this all day. Like what? Like who wants to spend your whole entire life doing that? Because you can make a dollar? Does that fill a void? The dollar that you want to use so that you can pursue your vanity, your vain things. What, you got a car? You got a house? Nothing's wrong with having nice things. But don't get caught into that. Don't get caught into that, my people. Most high God, he has a plan for your life. He has an assignment. He has a call. If you didn't rock with me this whole entire hour... Like, I, I know it's because you're connected, right? I know it's because you know that there's something more. There's something more, y'all. And we are not going to be able to tap into more, focus on the wrong things, focus on the irrelevant things, spiritual discernment, spiritual discernment. We need some spiritual discernment out here. Let us get into a space where we are having spiritual discernment. It's so necessary. It's so necessary for this phase where the world is headed. Spiritual discernment is going to be the thing that you want to keep in your back pocket to know yay or to know nay.
the whole world wanders after the beast. The whole entire world wanders after the beast. I grew up Adventist. I don't claim Adventism now. I'm not Adventist. I'm Most High God now. Miss me with the religion. But I remember being in church week after week, hours upon hours, sunset to, to sunrise, literally <laughs> all night at church, all day at church. And the, one of the biggest things was the mark of the beast. And, and for some reason, it sticks with me. The whole world wanders after the beast. The beast that we talked about, right? The spiritual wickedness sitting in high places that has everybody so blind, has everybody so caught up in the smoke and in the mirrors of the facade of the world that they're, they're neglecting their health. They're neglecting their sleep. They're neglecting their bodies. And they're so focused on whatever, I don't know, whatever we say is relevant at the moment whatever the media says is relevant at the moment, whatever your leader says is relevant at the moment. Let's get some spiritual discernment, y'all. It's so necessary. It's so absolutely necessary. Y'all, I'm gonna close out of here. School is getting ready to start for my little ones. I got little ones going to school, big school. They are so excited, y'all. Oh my God, they're so excited. They're so cute. <laughs> they're so cute. But, um, uh, Thank you for rocking with me this whole time, if you did. <laughs> I cannot really believe I was on here for an hour, y'all. Oh my God. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to say a word of prayer. I pray, I pray, I pray that um, you have a phenomenal week. I pray that you have an amazing week. I pray that um, the Most High God be able to um, move you this week. This week, Most High said we move from faith to faith there are levels to our faith right and so um there's a shift that's happening and we literally have to be positioned for the shift we literally have to be positioned in a place where we are able to receive what the most high god has put in our path i was reading um something earlier this week and i want to say it was in exodus and it was saying that um, the angel, that the most high God sent his angel to guard our path as we went into the place that he has prepared for us. Let me see uh, if I could find that scripture real quick, real quick, real quick. Because it was an amazing, and I was like, wow, right? Um, let's see, let me see if I can find it real quick. Y'all, I I'm I'm about to be like so much in my word, like for real, for real. Like it, like everything else to me at this moment is like becoming second nature. Like I don't care, I don't care. I just want to be in my word because from what I see, is we're headed to a very dark place, a very very dark place. A very very dark place. God sent his angels to uh, guide us to, let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Yes, here it is. Okay. So it was Exodus 23 and 20. Okay. God reminded the Israelites of his presence with them in Exodus 23 and 20 when he said, I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way and to bring you into the place that I have prepared. God has a place that he is literally prepared for you and he wants to ensure that you get there and his angels have been commanded to go to guard you on the way to that place. I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way and to bring you to the place I have prepared. So know that in this week, wherever the most high God has prepared for you to go, he has sent his angels. He has commanded his angels, go and guard whoever is sent, whoever falls underneath the sound of my voice. An angel has been assigned to your life, y'all, has been assigned to guard you on the way. Spiritual discernment, y'all. Spiritual discernment. We have to do our part. There, uh, uh, in, in in service today, they talked about um, there are spiritual, there are 
spiritual principles of success that governs the world. And just because it is spiritual, it is a spiritual principle, does that only mean that only the spiritual get to access it? And so because the principles are accessible by any and everybody, those who are not spiritual can reap the benefits of what is meant for God's people because they simply execute the principles, y'all. They simply execute the principles. So it, but they don't have the same anointing on what they receive, right? You you can see it, y'all. You can see it. You can see people with all kind of money. You can see people with these big lavish houses. Like I have a beautiful house, right? I have a beautiful car. I have a beautiful family and I have my peace. But you can see people who have these things, have these stuff, way more stuff. Like, oh my God, like, I, I, like, how are you not happy? You have all of this stuff and they have no peace. They have no peace. Stuff don't bring peace. So you got to make sure that you are in the right place so that you can have peace, y'all. Have peace and do the things that's necessary for you to do so that you can, um, Continuously reap the benefits, the spiritual benefits of a most high God. Please, y'all, pray for spiritual discernment in this season because we're going to need it. And trust and know that I am praying for spiritual discernment for you as well. You know what? I'm going to say a prayer real quick and I'm going to close out of this thing because I got some stuff to go do and take care of. And so, uh, a most high God, Lord God, you are such a good guy. You're such an amazing God. And I'm so grateful, Lord God, for the opportunity, whoever stayed and got to this point right here, Lord God, whoever's voice, um, whoever's ears, my voice falls upon Lord God, give them spiritual discernment, Lord God, that they know yay or they know nay, Lord God, in whatever circumstance, whatever situation is presented before them, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that they be able to hear you in their spirit, God. I pray that they be able to hear you in their soul, God, so that they can be led according to your will, Heavenly Father. Father God, I pray peace, Lord God, over your people, Lord God. I pray love and joy over your people, Lord God. Not a love and peace and joy that comes from the world, Lord God, but a love and joy and peace that comes from you, Lord God, that cannot be broken, Lord God. A sustainable, unbreakable love, Lord God, that only you can give, Lord God. Fill every void, Lord God. Be everybody at the point of their need, Lord God, whatever it may look like, Lord God. Step into their life, Lord God, right now, Lord God, and meet their needs, Lord God. Allow them to have the ability, Lord God, and, 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 and the want and the desire, Lord God, to put their health first, Lord God, so that they can be in a position to do what you have called them to do in this earthly realm, Lord God. We are spirit first, Lord God, and we understand, Lord God, that our spirits need to be nurtured, Lord God. But in addition that our spirits be nurtured, we have to do the necessary things, Lord God, that we nurture our bodies as well, Lord God. Give your people the ability, Lord God, to know when you speak, Lord God. Give your people the ability, Lord God, to know your way, Lord God. Father God, I pray your blessings, Lord God. I pray your anointing, Lord God. You said exceedingly abundantly above all, Lord God. And Father God, that is the place where we want to get to, Lord God. That is the place where we seek to get to, Lord God. And it only comes from you, Heavenly Father. So, Father God, I just thank you for this moment, Lord God. I thank you for this season, Lord God. And I know, Lord God, that you sent your angels, Lord God, ahead of us to guard us as we get to the place, Lord God, that you have prepared for us, Lord God. For we are your people, Lord God, and we are your righteousness, Lord God. And we are not righteous, Lord God, by anything that we have done, Lord God, but because of your, of your grace, Lord God. And for that, we exalt you, Lord God. For that, we thank you, Lord God. For that, Lord God, we lift you high heavenly father lord god continue to put pull us into the place where you have called us lord god 
Father God, I love you so much, Lord. And I thank you for all that you are doing, Lord God, all that you have done, Lord God, and all that you will do, Heavenly Father. Father God, I bless your name, Lord God, in this moment. Amen and amen and amen and amen. I hope that has met you where it needs to meet you um, right now. Um, yeah, y'all, go get you some herbs. DeeplyRootedHerbals.com. I'm going to leave the link um, somewhere. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where I'm posting this content yet, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, the link will be there. So you guys, um, definitely make sure that you tap into the spirit of most high God, do the things necessary that you need to do to put your health first so that you can do the assignments that God has, um, given for you to do. Um, until next time, my lovelies. Bye.